guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and you know what, Halloween's coming up, my favorite time of the year, because we get to talk about the creepy crawlies. Now listen, I know I have talked about Madagascar hissing cockroaches in the past, but it's time to talk about them again, just because I want to gross you out. I want to show you one of our bigger colonies here at the zoo. Check this out. Oh my gosh, there are just handfuls of bugs in here. Ugh, how cool and how gross is that? And I'm hoping some of you out there are squirming right now because I love to make you squirm. Now, of course, you're probably wondering how in the world can I put my hand in there? Well, there's nothing to worry about with these guys because they're harmless. Madagascar cockroaches cannot do anything to you. They can't bite, they can't spit, they can't karate chop you, they can't do anything. All they can do is hiss. And well, I know that their hiss is not dangerous, so it doesn't worry me. But some people still get kind of creeped out about these things crawling on you because they feel kind of tickly, and some people don't like that. But a couple cool things to look at here. You're going to notice how many there are, and there's some more babies. These guys have babies like you wouldn't believe. And you're probably wondering, why do we have so many here? Well, first of all, they're a great exhibit animal. People love to get creeped out by these guys. But I got to be honest with you. We feed these guys out. Yeah, we feed them to other animals here at the zoo. I'm hoping they don't hear that. But our lizards, some of our birds, they absolutely love to eat these. So it's a great way to actually raise that food right here. And honestly, it's a lot cheaper for us here at the zoo. But you might remember me saying these cockroaches found in Madagascar, as the name suggests, they hiss to defend themselves because they sound like maybe like a snake, something like that. The other cool thing about them is you can tell when they're a boy or a girl just by looking at their head. This one here, very smooth head. She doesn't have horns like the boy does. The boys have horns to knock each other around, usually fighting over girls. And if you're wondering what are they eating, a lot of decaying vegetation, lettuce, things like that. But it's just so cool to see how many are in here. Well, like I said, just to gross you out. I hope it worked. Happy Halloween, everybody. Until next time, I'll see you here at the zoo. <laughs>